All right, I am going to hurry and show you all how to set this Legends Gamer Pro wireless controller up to a computer and just set your MAME up to use it to play your MAME ROM. So we're not even going to use its wireless abilities as far as on a TV. I'm not going to talk about that at the moment. So... I'm going to hurry and make me a, an espresso, and then we'll, we'll get down. We'll get, we'll get on this business of setting up and playing some ROMs. Before I start this video, I want to make something real clear. Make sure you don't have the, the unit itself here plugged in and turned on because the the joystick will, this will try to connect to it and it'll, it won't operate correctly on your computer. So you do not want this plugged in and turned on if you were using this joypad to run your main game. So hopefully that's, that's clear. So. All right. So hopefully this view will work for you. I do not have a capture card or anything so we're just going to point it here i've plugged this in it comes with one usb cable you can just plug it into your computer it will need to be powered up you'll notice when i power it on how it detects it it should tear all right so we're working that one you can see if you push all the buttons you can see them light up so from here over is the first controller. Whoops. From here over, you can see is the other controller. You also have the two pinball buttons, which these pinball buttons, they actually show up on this side. So there's those two and these two on the left, all right? So one controller includes all of these and this, or and the pinball buttons. The other one just controls that. And then you got this acting as a mouse. Okay, good to go. Holy crap. This video is going to be really long if I keep all this stuff in, and I am. I don't get paid to shorten this crap. All right, so first thing we want to do is we want to download MAME. So... I just went and got the latest version of MAME. Go to mamedev.org. I pick up the, uh, download the 64-bit. I'm using Windows. So I grab that one. I'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads folder. I downloaded it last night. Now, you can double-click it and choose where you want to have it installed. Or if you have 7-zip installed, you can go ahead and right-click on it and just extract the file to here and then what I'm gonna do is here it is and I'm gonna just go ahead and rename it because I'll show you why in a minute but I'm just gonna call it legends okay cuz I've got two different mains going right now one with the XRK st tank stick and one with this then I'm gonna go ahead and just drag it over to my desktop so I can have it there Okay, so here it is on our desktop. We double click. We can come in here and here it is. MAME, so I'm gonna go ahead and just fire it up. All right, so there we are, we're in it. You're gonna need your keyboard and mouse for this. This is pretty simple to set up and configure with this. So, you wanna click on configure options double click we want to come down to um, we want to use general inputs but before we do that let's go to device mapping and with your with your arrows on your keyboard your trackball here you want to change that to mount or I'm sorry to uh, yes to mouse sorry change it to mouse for the trackball and then return and then go to general inputs 
Now what we're going to configure in here is our user interface, other controls, and then our player one controls. You may need to go in and do player two controls at times, but if you're playing two player games, but you can do that within each game itself. But for now, let's just go ahead and double click there. We want to come down. So right now, we can't navigate MAME with our with this. And that's what we want to be able to do. So let's go ahead and come scroll down. If you scroll down, we can scroll down to toggle UI up and down, right? So we just double click, push up, or just hit enter on your keyboard and push up on the keyboard if you want to keep your keyboard working um, in case you need to use your keyboard for some reason. So move down, hit enter, hit the down key on your keyboard, hit enter, hit down on your joystick. Okay, so now we can go up and down, come down to the left, hit enter, left, enter, left, if you screw up, just move off of it and then go back to it and you can re-enter and it'll start all over for you. So we got the right, right, enter, right on my keyboard. I just set the keyboard also just in case you can't, something goes weird and you can't navigate this with this, you can always use your keyboard. Then I like the select key. So enter is your select key for choosing what to do or your you know mouse. So what you're going to do is Hit enter, and then hit enter again. So now we can do the enter, go ahead and hit enter, and you can choose a button, which button you want to use to navigate through the, you know, to select. So we'll just choose A, which is joy button one. So there you go. So now I can come around here and I can select stuff in the UI now with that. Now the other two things you may want to do in here is you have cancel, which is to escape back out of the menus here. So if I want to get out, you see how I can go back out? Now I'm back out to here. I can use the escape key on here. Now, I like to have an escape key um, set up on here, but what I do is I actually don't use one key. You can set in MAME, you can set it to use multiple keys. So I usually will push like, um, this, uh, you know, to escape, like, we'll use these two top ones. So let's go ahead and come down here. And to cancel, we're going to go escape. You know, when you do the cancel on the escape, you have to do it one more time because it the escape key will actually change these to none. So do it again. Hit escape. Do it one more time. We're going to go ahead and hit both of these two buttons together. So it's joy button one, this is joy one, button six, and joy one button nine together will cancel us out of that. You see how that worked? Now, the other one you wanna do, let's go ahead and go back in here, and that's this one right here, the configure menu. To get into this menu, you hit the tab key on keyboard. So with any game you're in, you're gonna hit the tab key on the keyboard, but we wanna set it up so we can get into the menu here. You could just use this. You could just hit that and get in there. But if you like to make it a little bit more difficult so that people aren't accidentally, you know, hitting hitting that and messing with your settings, you can do another key combination, okay? So you could hold this and do that or hold this and do that. Either way, I'm not going to worry about it cuz I'm just showing you this. So tab. Whoops. So I messed up the on-screen display up there. So you can see I messed, I don't even remember what that was. So you know what, I never use it. So I'm gonna hit escape and that changes it to none. And I'm just gonna leave it there for now. So we'll go back down to configure menu, hit tab. Okay, hit enter again. I'm just gonna go with this one. So there you go. Now we can Pull up our menu, so you can see if, if I just go, let's see if this works. Um, so I should be able, we'll give it a try. I may have to change that one, but you got the gist of it. So let's go ahead and back save our configuration. So you need to save it now. Configuration saved. 
Okay, we can get out of here. Now, we should, if we go, uh, if we pull up that, uh, now we gotta get our ROMs in here, okay? So, we're gonna exit out of here, and you're gonna grab your ROMs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my window over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up my other main folder that I have some ROMs in. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab Burger Time, I'm gonna grab Centipede, I'm gonna grab um, Ms. Pac-Man, and uh, I think that's good enough. And what I'm gonna do is copy them, and then you're gonna go into wherever you put your, unzipped your main folder, you know, just go into ROMs, and paste them right here, okay? So there you go, we've got three games in there for now. So go back up, we can go ahead and fire up MAME again. Now over here where it says available, if you click on available, there's the three games. So hopefully, this video is gonna be long, just suck it up and deal with it or whatever, but hopefully I want it to be clear. I know when I watch some of these videos, I want it to be as clear as possible. So I hope this is being clear. Um, so there they are. So let's go ahead and fire up Miss Pac-Man and then we'll show you how to adjust the controls within each game itself when needed. So we fire it up. You gotta move that to confirm stuff. All right, so we're in here now. Now we wanna bring up the um, the te our, our, get back into our menu. Our, so we configured it with this. So there it is. It pulls up our ma main uh, configurations. We were in the input generals, but we want to be in this machine specifically, Pac-Man. So we can come down in it. Now we can use these. We can choose. We can see that, um, oh, you know, I, I forgot to go over this. Let's back up one second, okay? So, let's go up here. We did, we configured the user interface. Sorry, I forgot to do this. We can go up into other controls. In here, the only things I usually ever change are maybe my one player and two player start, and maybe the coin. So, the coin is usually keyboard five, so we can hit it and hit keyboard five down here. But then maybe you wanna set your coin to be, um, you know, this one. Maybe this is the coin. So there you go, there's our coin. And then our player one and player two, let's go up here, player one start, let's hit enter. It's usually number one on the keyboard, and then I'm gonna hit enter again, and we're gonna hit player one, okay? So you can see we need to, we need to map that button because this, it isn't, it isn't mapped already. We can go down to two players, hit enter, two on my keyboard. Again, I just do it because I might want it to use it, and then we can go two there, okay? So we've got our coin, and then our starts, okay? Let's go back out, back up, we can back up. The only other one you can do, I'm not gonna do it right now, but if you wanted to go into here and just map your player ones, you know, map any of these, you could pre-map them and then anytime you open a game, they'll be pre-configured. You still gotta go into each game and customize your controls, I find, so. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but at least you get the gist of it. So let's back back out. Okay, so we got our coin in, right? There's our player one start. Now, you can see we didn't map our joysticks. So let's pause it. We pause it by hitting P on the keyboard. I don't have anything configured to pause it here yet. So we paused it. We want to go back in. Oop, that, that escaped. That was the wrong one to use. Let's go back. You'll have to learn your control, you know, your mapping. <clears throat> okay, go back in here and you go to uh, input this machine. 
All right, so if we wanted to, let me just go ahead and go back in. If you go back in here and go down to player one controls, player one up, player one down, push down, player one left, push left on the stick, player one right, go right on the stick. Now it should be configured universally for all of our games. Let's go ahead and see if it is. There's our coins. We should be able to do that now. Let's see. And there we go. We're working. All right. Now, I'm going to pause this. Okay. On some games, you may want multiple controls, for instance, for Ms. Pac-Man. So what you can do is go ahead and pull it up and go into this machine, input this machine. And for player one and player two, we'll just be using the same control. So what I like to do, for instance, on Ms. Pac-Man is sometimes I don't want to be sitting way over here. I want to get more in the middle. So what I'll do is I'll player one up, player one up, player one down, player one down, player one left, Player one left, player one right, player one right. Now we can back out. All right, we can unpause, let our death happen. Now we should be able to use this. So I can use this one, or we can use this one. All right. So there we go. Let's exit out of this. Okay, and you can see to get back to here, you just use the combination of the escape key. Hopefully that made sense. Now if we come up to Centipede, I'm going to show you how to configure your trackball. So let's go ahead and... Uh, now I haven't figured out how to map just yet. Um, okay, there you go. There's our select key and it did work. On, I was having problems with my other stick the other night. Okay, so we're in here. Now, we can go ahead and do a, you know, put a couple credits in, hit start, and the key, and this mouse works. Now, you may want your mouse to move the, the, the little guy, you know, the little fairy or whatever that thing is. You may want him to move faster to speed this guy up. You can also see... So what you may want to do is, um, let's pause it, to adjust the, the mouse, or, or your trackball, sorry, you need to go down to where it says analog controls. Now what you're going to be adjusting is the digital speed of X and of Y. Or the sen and or the sensitivity. I think if we adjust this up to, let's just say 95. You can go over 100. I'm just going to say over, you got to do both. If you do the X on sensitivity, you need to do the Y on sensitivity also, just to make it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so it'll move a little faster. Um, the sensitivity, let's pause this. Let's go back into the sensitivity, um, or I'm sorry, the digital speed. Let's prop that up to like, I don't know, 50. You'll have to mess with it to find what it is that feels good for you, what you, you know, what feels right. Let's do that. And, th and that feels pretty good. You may want to speed it up. Let's even speed it up further, faster than that. Let's try this. Let's just go up to the extreme just to make sure we're making the right adjustment. We can always come back down. So 
So that's how you adjust it to find what works for you. Okay, so let's back out of this. Okay, I think that really is just about it as far as configuring MAME. Um, there's other options you can explore, but really just to get you up and going, that's pretty much what I do. Now, there's one area where I'm just still not sure about. I'm not an expert when it comes to ROMs and MAME and, and mapping the correct version of ROMs to MAME. So there's probably plenty of other videos out there to, to look at that. I've noticed that some of the ROMs that I have don't, don't work. And so I've got multiple ROM sets and I'll just go grab another one and find the one that does work. So anyhow, um, that's all I really have to say about as far as setting up MAME and getting it working with this. And this will work as a standalone MAME controller as of, you know, as of the, the making of this video. So as far as that goes, you know, that works pretty good. It does need to be powered on. Um, there is a power in the back here. You could probably power this thing by plugging it into uh, your little charging unit um, or actually there's a DC charger here it doesn't come with one which kind of sucks but um, maybe you can order one on the site I don't know so there you go as far as the stick you know as far as how I feel about it um, I like it. I like the controls. The only thing I really don't care about is this trackball feels a little, um, there's two things. I would have put the trackball up further because your hand hangs off a little bit when you're using the trackball. The XRK tank stick has a much bigger resting area. So if you could like spread these buttons out over here and push this up here, that would have been my preference. Other than that, it's pretty good. The, the sticks and stuff are decent, you know. Um, I don't know what brand they're using. Probably some, I, I just don't know. The buttons are fine. I have, you know, they work. So, this thing did cost at Walmart 190 or at Sam's Club, $199. Is it worth it for that in and of itself? You'll have to make the judge of that. Um, I'll do another video on how to connect this up with its little base unit to your TV. I'll just kind of give you a quick rundown of that in another video here and let you see what that's all about. So anyhow, thanks for watching this uh, long, monotonous, drawn out video. Sorry, I accidentally pushed a button and shut it off. All right, guys. I think we're done. We'll go outside for a minute because they're getting restless. And we'll do another video here shortly. Smell you later.